We've been talking about being a true disciple and that Jesus called these guys out unto himself, went up into a mountain, he called these men to himself. And these disciples, not only were they called out, but there was a distinction about these men. They were, and last week we finished with this, is that Jesus called them out, that they were to be separated from the world. He says they are not of the world. And, and we're to be sanctified. And what sanctifies us is the truth. And so you're getting in the book and the word of God. Now, listen to me carefully as we talk more about this, this uh, distinction of a disciple. Their attitude is different. Their attitude about life is different. If your attitude, uh, let's put it this way, if your attitude stinks about life, then you're not following Jesus Christ. Now, I, I know that's harsh, but it's true. You're not following the Lord. You're following your emotions. And, and your, your attitude, the disciples' attitude is different. They can never do enough in their heart. I can never do enough for my Lord. And, and they never whine about serving Christ because they love their master. That's why they, they can never do enough. They're in love with the master. And if you find yourself whining and complaining about, you know, oh, we got to go to church and we got to go back to church Thursday night. That's where our midweek service is here. And, or, you know what, we gotta, uh, I got to go teach my Sunday school class. Listen to me carefully. You're not being a disciple. You're not following the Lord. Uh, number three in this is they always have time to meet the needs of others. Always have time. Now, they might have to prioritize their time because they have a lot of people that got to meet needs of. And there's a family, your children, your wife, your husband or whatever. But understand this, you, you have time to meet the needs of others. You see the needs of others and you want to meet the needs of others. And, and, and I hesitate to give this example, but, you know, I was out to eat with a church member the other day and just enjoying fellowship and talking about the ministry with him and and a dear sweetheart of a lady maybe i don't know how old but uh, i know about 70s or so was sitting in a booth weeping and, and and my heart just went out to her and i went over and sat down with her and i said you know what i'm so sad you're broken hearted and uh you know i don't know you but and and she said you're the pastor of that church downtown i said yes ma'am and i said let's pray together and listen is the disciple, I'm not saying I'm a disciple, but that's a good example of, of your heart wants to meet the needs of other people. You, you want to do that, okay? And uh, the daily life of a disciple is this, okay? Those are distinctions. This is the daily life of a disciple. First of all, is the disciple's life is in an interrupted life. It is, it is an interrupted life. In other words, verse 20 of our text in Mark chapter 3, it says, And the multitude cometh together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. In other words, people will sometimes interrupt your meals. They'll interrupt your time of eating because they need some help. Uh, your meals are going to be interrupted. Mark chapter uh, 6, verse 31 through 20, 20, 32 says there, It says, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place, and rest a while, it says, for there were many coming and going that they had no leisure so much, uh, so much as to eat, and they departed into a desert place by ship privately. In other words, listen, there are going to be times people are going to call you. They're going to, want, they're going to need you. Uh, I will quickly say this as I remember back years ago, and I'm not saying that I did this every time, but this particular time a bus mother called me. Uh, Marvin and I had a bus route back in Missouri, and a bus mother called us while we were putting up the Christmas tree. And uh, it was a terrible thing that had gone on. Uh, her boyfriend, her husband, I can't, I think it was her boyfriend, had beat her with a soda bottle and, uh, and uh, busted all the water lines in their house. And we had to go there and help her get through that trauma, her and her kids. And so you're going to get interrupted. If you're going to be a disciple, you got to be willing to say, I am willing for my life, my personal agenda to be interrupted if God needs me to. And so we're going to come back to this about the daily life of a disciple. And again, it's going to be an interrupted life. There's going to be more to that life too. Yeah.